together to explain how and why to do it. Dr. Tom Cooney, lecturer in entrepreneurship and marketing at DIT, joins us now. Good morning to you, Tom. Good morning, Claire. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Um, so we're starting a, a six-part series this morning and sort of starting at the beginning, as it were, um, a, a business plan, um, something that we often hear about, but which is, can be a vague thing. Explain to us exactly what a business plan is. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to encourage here is uh, Roy Keane put it last year at the World Cup, he said, look, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. And the analogy that I use with startup uh, companies is you're taking a journey that you've never taken before. So if you're taking a journey, you get into your car, before you get into your car, in fact, you say, where do I want to go? Where's my destination? So the first thing you do is you, you decide what your goals are and that's your destination. The second thing when you're taking a journey is you take out the roadmap and you work out the route that you're going to take. So let's say, for example, I'm in Dublin and I want to go to Fumoy. So I say, okay, take out the map. I want to go through Kildare, Manchester Avon, Manchester Avon, uh, Port Leach, and so forth. And you work out your route as to how you're going to get there. One of the things I also explain is that the map isn't written in stone or the plan isn't written in stone. Like you're driving along, you come to Kildare, you Modest Revan, they're laying pipes <laughs> exactly. the right? There's example. an analogy. That's a great example. That's a great example because what happens now is you get to Modest Revan and basically I said to people, you've got three choices. One choice is you, you get into the tailback and say, I don't like this and turn around and head home or you quit the business. The second choice is to say, I know my route, I know my destination. It's going to take me a little longer, but I'm going to stay on this road and I'm going to get there eventually. Or the third option is you take out the map again and you look at the options that you got, you drive around, come back out of Port Leash, <laughs> and away you go Take again. an alternative yeah, And it's route. the same way with a business plan, Claire. Mm -hmm. So putting together a business plan, I mean, it's all very well to say that you should do it and it's important and so on, but how do you go about constructing a business plan? Fortunately, we're in a, a time where there's plenty of help and support available for people who are looking to write their own business plans. Many people feel kind of uncomfortable or threatened by you know, the, the task that lies ahead. but if you go into the internet, there's quite a lot of really good internet sites which give you templates from which to work. Uh, for example, planware.org is an Irish company. Uh, that's one example. Another example is bizplans.com. That's B-I-Z plans.com. The other option is you go to your county enterprise board. There's a very good workbook uh, called Starting Your Own Business. And you can get that workbook from the county enterprise board. A third option is to take a start your own business program. Um, there's many of them available from county enterprise boards. They're available at night, and you say three hours, one night a week, for 10 weeks. It helps you to write your own business plan. You come out at the end, and you got something that's tangible. That, that seems to make sense, doesn't it, to actually do a course. You're sure of, of what you're at, you know? And the wonderful thing about the course is that you're in a program with 12 other people who are in exactly the same position as yourself. And there's great empathy there, and there's great learning from each other. And one of the things that I would also stress to people is the idea of networking, building networks, getting people who will help support you in starting your own business. And part of that group can be other people starting their business. Okay, we have a couple of pointers. Um, uh, planning for business. All plans should have a plan. Yeah, like certainly all, all businesses must have a plan. One of the things that I, I say to people, it doesn't matter what business you're in, you should have a plan. Like, Going back to the analogy of the car, if you get into the car in Dublin and you've no destination, then how, where are you going? And, and like, how do you know if you're succeeding? Or how, how do you know how well you're doing? So all businesses, I don't care of what size, should have a plan. Mm -hmm. The second point is write down your objectives. Research after research has shown that those who write down their objectives are much more likely to see, succeed than those who haven't. And just a quick story here, Claire. A study done 40 years ago in Harvard Business School asked students, final year students, many questions. There was two questions particularly that I want to focus on. One was, have you set goals? Only 10% of respondents said yes. The next question was, have you written them down? And only 4% said yes. 20 years later, they went back and they re-interviewed, re-surveyed all of those same people again. And what they discovered was that each one of the 4%, each one of them individually, were worth more than the 96% put together, which is a phenomenal statistic. And research after research will tell us that 
if you write down your goals, you're much more likely to succeed. To achieve them. Yeah, and the final point then is that the more information that we have, the less risk you are taking. You will never have perfect information, but at least you can reduce the amount of risk. In the last series, Claire, we, we talked about the myth that um, entrepreneurs are gamblers, or sorry, yeah, that they're gamblers. And I was making the point that they're not gamblers, they're calculated risk takers. And they take calculated risk by gathering in information and making calculated decisions based around that. Mm -hmm. So do your research and get your business plan exactly. together is the tip for this morning. Indeed. And Tom, we'll see you again next week. Thank you very Thanks much very for much joining us.